dear students uh, in this lecture i shall continue the problem of solving the differential equation where the differential equations we were discussing about the homogeneous form that means homogeneous form means we have taken that uh, uh, equation differential equation solution f of d y is equal to r of x otherwise x of x any notation you can use this is equal to 0 so when it is equal to 0 we called it as homogeneous in my previous lecture i had uh, made one problem as incomplete and now i shall continue that problem for the solution and then i shall let you know how the roots are obtained and how the solution is to be obtained uh, using the given initial conditions let me give a reminder to you the problem what was the problem we discussed in the previous class that means previous lecture i will write that problem then i will take uh, the calculated values calculated values means uh, roots of the auxiliary equation so the problem is like this solve d cube minus of 3 d square plus 9 d plus of 13 operating on y this is equal to 0 means rhs equal to 0 with the conditions with the conditions x equal to 0 comma y is equal to 0 and y dash is equal to 1 and y double dash is equal to 6 this is this was our problem in the previous class we discussed now let us uh, find out the possible roots for this differential equation this is exactly like f of d y is equal to 0 this is called homogeneous differential equation homogeneous ODE so homogeneous ODE means first of all let us write the roots roots are nothing but that is f of d is equal to f of m is equal to m cube minus 3 m square plus of 9 m plus 13 equal to 0. So, from this we can obtain the values of m as this is called auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation that means from any equation if you write d in terms of m that is called auxiliary equation here third order derivative here third degree second order derivative second degree first order derivative first degree of m and constant is there constant is there ok so this is the auxiliary equation and from which already we have calculated this is a third degree equation direct factorization is not possible in this uh, only by synthetic division we were supposed to do but we did it already in the previous uh, lecture that means uh, uh, three values of m you have to collect those three values of m let me write one is m is equal to minus 1 and it is 2 plus 3i that means you have one root here as real root one root as real root and another two as uh, another uh, plus or minus uh, 2 plus or minus 3i this is imaginary roots ok so real roots and imaginary roots right what you have to write uh, the solution for these obtained uh, uh, roots solution for this equation is through the roots obtained for the auxiliary equation so one is real root and another pair of numbers will be called as imaginary roots therefore the solution should be written in terms of x uh, totally minus 1 that is c1 first constant you have to introduce and uh, c2 and here this is exactly compared with alpha plus or minus i beta that means this is imaginary roots c2 e to the power it is 2x right and cos 3x plus of c3 e to the power 2x into it is sin 3x right this is the solution final solution when these initial conditions are not given if the initial conditions are given we need to introduce those initial conditions so that c1 c2 c3 can be calculated then we call it as particular solution this is called general solution so in terms of the presence of uh, uh, arbitrary constants this is called general solution c1 c2 c3 we do not know the values 
but we have to calculate those c1 c2 c3 values using these initial conditions now i shall make a set of these initial conditions x equal to 0 this is an independent variable it is for this it is for this and it is for this that means x equal to 0 y equal to 0 is one set that is one value next uh, combination I, I have to make it as x equal to 0 then y dash equal to 1 and x equal to 0 y double dash is equal to 6 therefore there are three constants c1 c2 c3 three sets of initial conditions you have to use it so you will be getting in each set of uh, substitution you will be getting the particular value of constant then we can call it as uh, instead of general solution that will become particular solution okay so let me start with uh, the first number at x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so wherever x is there you have to substitute 0 and wherever y is there you have to substitute 0 what is that that is 0 in the left side here and c1 that is e to the power 0 is 1 plus c2 e to the power 0 is 1 and cos 0 is 1 that is also 1 and sin 0 becomes 0 therefore first equation c1 plus c2 is equal to 0 this is the first equation now to find out the next solution to find out the next uh, uh, application of this initial condition this is first initial condition that is I can call it as initial condition 1, this is initial condition IC2, this is IC3. Then we will have to use all the three. Uh, how we are going to get the uh, solution? Let, uh, let us uh, continue with the second solution. So to apply the second solution, uh, uh, sorry, second initial condition, then you need to take the differentiation. Why? Because, because so second and third need to be taken with the differential coefficient thereby we have to take the differentiation of this step I can call it as equation 1 then uh, to apply to apply x equal to 0 comma y dash is equal to that is plus 1 y dash is equal to plus 1 we differentiate we differentiate uh, 1 we differentiate 1 equation 1 with respect to x. Let us see what is the differentiation of this. Okay. dy by dx right? that is equal to dy by dx is equal to uh, right side first term minus of c1 e to the power minus x. This is equation number 2 because you have to solve this equation by the first initial condition. This is first term. Second term is a product of two terms. Okay plus of 2 times c2 e to the power 2x and cos of 3x and minus because cos gives us minus after the differentiation that is nothing but here uh, there is 2 times c2 e to the power 2x sin of 3x and uh, plus of it is 2 times c3 e to the power 2x 2 times c3 e to the power 2x sin it is 3x and plus of because because sine gives us uh, uh, plus sine cos gives us minus sign okay plus of uh, that is 3 times c3 e to the power this is 2x right into sine of it is 3x now this is dy by dx now you have to make use of this initial condition that means at x equal to 0 y dash is equal to 1 so y dash means this much y dash is equal to 1 take that 1 in the left side that is equal to x equal to 0 you substitute that is minus c1 uh, plus 2 times of c2 this is 0 means 1 this is 1 and this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 of course uh, differentiation here sin 3x means this is cos 3x okay then this, this becomes 0, this becomes 0, this is not 0. Therefore, plus of uh, 3 times of C3. This becomes your equation number 3. This becomes your equation number 3. Then you need to solve, uh, sorry, you need to apply once again the next condition. Next condition means you have to take second order differential coefficient. Okay. Now you substitute wherever x is uh, there, it is to be taken as 0 and if 
there is anything you can take it as a common factor you can also do it this is sin 3 x then what you can what best you can do is directly you substitute that is equal to 1 ok then 1 is equal to that is minus c 1 e to the power 0 is 1 and plus of 2 times c 2 this is 1 and this is 1 at x equal to 0 minus 3 c 2 this becomes 0 and this also becomes 0 and this will not be 0 that is plus of 3 times c 3 e to the power 2 x and then cos of 3 x that is also 1 that means 1 is equal to minus c 1 plus 2 c 2 my 1 is equal to minus c 1 plus 2 c 2 plus of 3 c 3 this is equation number 3. Similarly, uh, y double dash you have to calculate that is y double dash is this term once again product rule you have to apply then 1 gives d square y divided by d x square is equal to c 1 e to the power minus x minus minus plus it is again this is a product and uh, plus of 4 times c 2 e to the power 2 x uh, that is cos 3 x right and minus of it is 6 times c 2 e to the power 2 x and sin 3 x and this is minus of 6 times c 2 e to the power 2 x sin 3 x then it should be minus 9 times uh, c 2 e to the power this is 2 x right and cos 3 x cos 3 x and this is also again 2 terms and plus of it is 4 times plus of 4 times 2 into 2 4 that is c 3 e to the power 2 x that is sin 3 x right and uh, plus of 3 into 2 it is 6 c 3 6 c 3 e to the power 2 x and cos 3 x. Now, last term is also a product 3 into 2 6 c 3 e to the power 2 x and cos 3 x as it is and minus of 3 into 3 9 it is e to the uh, 3 into 3 9 c 3 it is e to the power 2 x and sin it is 3 x cos 3 x as it is this one ok. Uh, therefore, first term is same this gives 2 terms right this gives 2 terms this gives 2 terms and this gives 2 terms. So, totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 terms should be there 1, 2, 3, 4 it is a product 4 into 2 8 plus this one that is 9 terms will be there. So, now you substitute the third condition from this at now you substitute the set of values x equal to 0 and y double dash is equal to 6. So, x equal to 0 y double dash is equal to 6 means 6 is equal to x equal to 0 c 1 wherever sin is there that term will not exist and uh, only cos is there that, uh, that term will exist 4 times it is c 2 then this is sin this is sin but this is cos minus 9 times it is c 2 ok this becomes 0 and this becomes plus of 6 times c 3 and this becomes 6 times c 3 this is also same ok. So, last term is containing sin function at x equal to 0 that sin 0 is 0. Now, you can add this that is c 1 appears only once c 2 appears twice that is 4 minus 9 minus 5 it is c 2 6, 6 plus 6 it is 12 c 3 and this is equal to 6. So, this is the final equation of uh, equation number 4.
to solve for constants that is C1, C2, C3. So now we will solve all the uh, three equations taking the help of three equations how these constants can be obtained that is first equation is C1 plus C2 equal to 0, first equation is this one. Okay. So 2 gives otherwise 2 implies one constant you can eliminate either uh, here C1 is there, here also C1 is there, anyone you can explain in terms of another one. Okay. Let me take C2 is equal to C1, C2 is equal to minus of C1 because C1 plus C2 is equal to 0, then C2 is in terms of minus of C1, then uh, 3 and 4, 3 and 4 give, you substitute this value in 3 and 4, this is equation number 3, therefore 1 is equal to C2, that means minus C1 equal to minus C1 minus of 2 times C1 minus of 2 times C1 because here plus 2 is there and minus C1 is there should be minus of C1. Okay. C2 is equal to minus C1 and plus of that is 3 times C3 then equation 3 and equation 4 gives similarly this is 6 is equal to C1 as it is minus of 5 C2 with this minus C1 that becomes plus 5 C1 and C2 is equal to minus uh, uh, anyway this is C3 you write as it is it is 12 C3. So finally this equation implies minus C1 minus 2 C1 minus 3 C1 plus 3 C3 plus 3 C3 equal to how much? Equal to plus 1. Then this equation implies C1 plus 5, it is 6 C1 and plus 12 C3 plus 12 C3 is equal to 6. You have finally <coughs> these two equations to be solved. That means equal number of equations with equal number of unknowns. Actually three equations you had but here C3 was 0, you could have considered even in terms of matrices, this equations also could have been solved. But another one is option, it means one unknown you express in terms of the other unknown, so that we can get two equations with the two constants. So now we can solve comfortably these equations. First uh, equation will be uh, taken for the similar coefficient uh, compared to the second one, you multiply by, uh, multiply by 2 therefore you will be getting it as 6. Okay. So what is that? Then this should be minus 6 C1 plus 6 C3 is equal to 1 and 6 C1 plus 12 C3 is equal to 6 is there. So this cancels and uh, subtraction uh, sorry addition you must take this is 18 C3 is equal to addition means 7 you, you are getting. Okay. Then 7 means uh, there you will be getting one unknown in terms of the other unknown. What is that? C3, C3 is equal to 7 divided by 18. Okay. So C3 is equal to this much means what is the value of C1 you have to calculate. So take any one of the equations minus 3 C1 and plus 3 C3 is equal to 1, substitute this value minus 3 C1 plus 3 into 7 by 18 that is equal to 1. Minus 3 C1 is equal to 1 minus 21 divided by 18, if you take this term to the other side. 18 minus 21 divided by 18, this is minus 3 C1, 18 minus 21 means how much? That is minus 3 divided by 18 and this is minus 3 that is C1. <coughs> so this 3, this 3 you can cancel along with minus sign, then C1 is equal to 1 divided by 18. So 
already C3 you have right and C1 you have and here you have another equation that is C2 is equal to minus of C1. Therefore, this implies C2 is equal to minus 1 by 18. So, this much is the solution. Now, the final step for the solution, we, uh, we call it as a particular solution. That was the general solution we had. Now, we are going to write it as a particular solution. So, you can write it as required solution for this problem with, with the calculation of these three constants. Required solution required solution is given by required solution is given by y is equal to c1 e to the power minus x what is that c1 here c1 is 1 by 8 that is 1 by 18 so not 8 18 e to the power that is minus of x plus of c2 c2 is uh, what value that is minus 1 by 18 minus 1 by 18 e to the power it is uh, uh, that is 2 e to the power 2 x cos of 3 x this is in place of C 2 and plus of that is C 3 7 by 18 that is 7 by 18 e to the power 2 x and sin 3 x is the final and particular solution this is called particular solution. Particular solution is one in which all the three constants are expressed in terms of numerical quantities and general solution is one. Uh, the final expression contains uh, arbitrary constants otherwise constants of integration. For example, in this problem that is C 1, C 2, C 3 were the uh, arbitrary constants but we computed all the three constants in particular uh, uh, to write the particular solution. So, this is how third order derivative uh, we can reduce and we can get the solution in the particular form. I shall go to next variety of the problem because any problem you can expect any uh, situation or any type of rearrangement you expect. So, different problems you, you have to practice and then see that the concept must be uh, made perfect. Okay. So, the next uh, situation I will take, this is fourth degree equation, solve d to the power of 4 plus 8 d square plus 16 operating on y equal to 0. Here without initial conditions, this problem is there with initial conditions and without initial conditions. So, with initial conditions will help us to calculate the values of constants. Without initial condition means you will leave the answer in terms of constants only. Then what is the first step that we are going to write? The auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation when we write, then you need to take uh, d in terms of m. d in terms of m is that is nothing but a number which represents as root of the equation. So, what is that number? That means, d is equal to m. d is equal to m depends on the order of the derivative. If it is first order only 1 m, if it is second order 2 m values, likewise other uh, degrees of m. Okay. Now, here we write the auxiliary equation, auxiliary equation as f of d equal to f of m equal to 0. That is m to the power of 4 plus 8 m square plus 16 is equal to 0. You see that uh, this is the fourth degree and this is second degree and this cannot be uh, uh, taken for any some standard formula. There is no formula as such, but some type of rearrangement you have to write and then see that the roots must be obtained for this differential equation. Uh, this is the fourth degree equation. We expect totally four different values. That means, four uh, roots for this auxiliary equation. For the simplicity, what I am going to take it as m square whole square this one plus 8 uh, m square right? 
and plus of 16 is equal to 0. Let it is t is equal to m square, right. If I take like that t square plus 8t plus 16 is equal to 0. So, this is quadratic equation, but this is fourth degree equation, fourth degree here, but this is second degree. Afterwards, we will write in terms of fourth degree, then we will reset the values of m as roots of the equation. Okay. So, what is the uh, next rearrangement or uh, next uh, procedure for, from this step we have to think of? That means, anyway it is a quadratic equation, it is very comfortable that algebraic method is available x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2 a that we have to write. Okay. Uh, what is the procedure? T is equal to minus b plus minus root of it is b square minus 4 a c and divided by it is 2 a that is t is equal to minus b it is minus 8 and plus minus root of it is b square uh, root of b square means uh, what it is that is minus 8 that is 8 square you have to write okay minus 4 into 16 into 1 that is 4 a c and divided by it is 2 a that is 2 into 1 that should be t is equal to minus 8 correct or? minus b plus minus b square that is 8 square minus 4 a c 4 into 16 into 1 this much plus minus root of that should be 8 square should be 64 and minus of it is 64. This is uh, how much? It is 2. Therefore, minus 4 minus uh, 4 uh, otherwise minus 8 minus 8 plus minus this 64 goes 0 then plus or minus 0 whole divided by 2 that is equal to uh, t is equal to minus 8 minus 8 by 2 plus 0 minus 8 by 2 minus 0 that means minus 4 and minus 4. So, t is equal to minus 4 and minus 4. How this can be written now? That should be t plus 4 whole square is equal to 0. This is exactly like uh, a plus b whole square a plus b whole square a is equal to t and b is equal to 4. So, this you can easily understand by comparing with your basic knowledge of quadratic equation. Basic knowledge of quadratic equation means a plus b whole square same thing I proved according to the formula which already you are familiar. Okay. So, what is this now that is uh, a plus b whole square right uh, that is uh, 8 square, 8 square that is right 16 into 4 64 anyway it is 0 that becomes the real root. Okay, fine. Then uh, m square now you have to write in place of t as m square that is degree t, uh, t plus 4 whole square is there, but t square right uh, sorry t, t means what m square here t I have taken as m square plus 4 it is whole square is equal to 0. How we can split? We can split like this m, m square plus 4 into m square plus 4. This is equal to 0. So, this should be thoroughly understood. This should be discussed in detail. How this fourth degree equation can be reduced and then you can uh, comfortably write the roots by uh, means of algebraic procedure by taking some other symbol. So, that fourth degree as it is, uh, it may be uh, not convenient to write the roots, so that if you reduce to the lower degree, so that it is comfortable to write. So, again we go back uh, what is the uh, change we made and we will try to eliminate, because we had taken the t and then we need to eliminate. Okay. One by one you solve, m square plus 4 is equal to 0 gives m is equal to plus or minus uh, uh, 2 i 
that means m square is equal to root of m square is equal to minus uh, m square is equal to minus 4 m is equal to plus or minus root of minus 4. So, plus or minus root of minus 4 means plus or minus 2 i that is what I have written. So, m is equal to 0 plus or minus 2 i is one set of imaginary roots and one more factor this is for this. Now, this is for this m square plus 4 equal to 0 this implies m is equal to the same type again it is 2 i and then uh, this can be taken as uh, 0 plus or minus it is 2 i. Therefore, this is the second set of roots means second set of uh, values we can consider as roots of the equation. Therefore, therefore, the fourth degree fourth order derivative is reduced to fourth degree uh, uh, auxiliary equation. Therefore, four different values you must get. Therefore, these two are imaginary roots you have to understand because I is there imaginary roots. So, for this imaginary roots we have to write uh, the solution y is equal to c 1 e to the power 0 into x that is cos 1 into x uh, sorry it is 2 into x because 2 is there and uh, c 2 uh, e to the power 0 into x that is sin 2 x is for first set of roots plus of second set plus of c 3 e to the power 0 into x it is cos of uh, 2 x, but it must be multiplied by x into plus of x into c 4 this is x into c 3 this is x into c 4 e to the power 0 into x and sin of it is 2 x. Uh, dear students why I have multiplied x here because x means uh, this first set of roots 0 plus or minus 2 i is repeated once. Therefore, the roots for the repetition you have to multiply successively by x x square x cube x x to the power of 4 and so on. Uh, the first term is x to the power 0, second term is x to the power 1, third term is x to the power 2 and like that. Therefore, these two sets uh, that means one set of roots are repeated whether they are, they are real or imaginary, but the uh, rule says you have to multiply successively by x that is what I did. Then e to the power 0 is 1 and here e to the power 0 is 1 and here also e to the power 0 is 1 and here also e to the power 0 is 1. Therefore, the final form of the solution with the fourth order derivative there must be four constants c 1 cos of 2 x plus c 2 sin of 2 x plus of c 3 into x sin uh, cos of 2 x and plus of c 4 x into it is sin of 2 x. So, this is what the solution that is what the solution as general solution if initial conditions are given you can calculate the constants. So, like this I will move on to another uh, example that is uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, uh, the second order and uh, third order derivative but with uh, little different type uh, of the symbols instead of y and x you will be getting x and t. If different type of symbols and also two initial conditions it is given let us see how this problem gives the solution. Solve that is x double dash t minus 4 into x dash t and plus 13 x t 13 x t equal to 0 with it is x of 0 is equal to 2 
and x dash 0 is equal to 2. This is another interesting situation where uh, the familiar symbols x and y are not there, uh, maybe x is there, but in the previous problem that x was acting like uh, independent variable and y was dependent variable, but in this example x is to be taken as dependent variable and uh, t is to be taken as independent variable. Therefore, what is this uh, value of x and uh, x as uh, sorry x x in terms of t as the solution so that we can uh, try for the solution uh, y in uh, x in terms of t instead of y in terms of t therefore this can be taken with but uh, the derivative symbol is same that means linear differential operator symbol is same for this also this can be taken as x double dash t minus 4 into x dash t plus 13 into x t is equal to 0. This is as good as uh, d square x divided by it is d t square right and minus 4 into d x by d t plus 13 into x t is equal to 0. Then what is that? Uh, this can be taken as put. What is the derivative symbol? d is equal to d by d t, but there we have taken d is equal to what? d is equal to d by d x. So far in the previous set of problems we had taken d capital D as the differential operator, we had taken that one as in terms of uh, d by d x because x was the independent variable, but here t is the independent variable. You can write x as independent variable and t as dependent variable. In the previous problem, y was dependent variable and x was independent variable. You must be very, very cautious uh, about the uh, statement of the problem because al always, always I recommend or I recall the uh, important slogan in mathematics because uh, uh, understanding the problem is nothing but 50 percent of the solution of the problem. It is very true always because when you write when you understand the given symbols and then when you write the first step, I, I am sure that uh, that first step itself will give you the uh, direction that how you have to take up the remaining steps. That is what the beauty of the mathematics, uh, but you cannot simply write, uh, you cannot simply by heart and then you can write all these things. Now, d is equal to d by dt if you take this one that is d square x, d square is operating on x just like d square y minus 4 into d x plus of 13 is equal to uh, 13 x is equal to 0. Then d square minus 4 d plus 13 operating on it is x of t is equal to 0. Even if you write only x, it is understood x is a function of t. If you do not write x is uh, here it is accepted as that is uh, x is uh, sorry. Uh, t is dependent variable, no sorry, this is independent variable, this is dependent variable, but in this case y is dependent and x is independent. Here x is dependent variable, y is independent variable because you have d x by d t and d square x divided by d t square, which symbol is in the numerator of the derivative that will always to be accepted as dependent variable and which symbol comes in denominator always you have to consider that as independent variable. This should be known to you otherwise uh, uh, you, you cannot do any step. First basic all these basics should be uh, thoroughly understood and then only you have to go move for the next step. Okay. So, this is everything I have written in terms of the symbol that is d square minus 4 d plus 13 operating on that is x t. Do not read this one as multiplication. If you read multiplication, this one if you read multiplication absolutely it is wrong, you should not do like that. So, this is the derivative function, it is nothing but f of d operating on x t is equal to 0, which is a homogeneous linear differential equation we started with. Okay. Then uh, we need to write the auxiliary equation for this uh, same meaning, 
that is auxiliary equation, second uh, order is the, so second degree you are getting m square minus 4 m and plus 13 is equal to 0. What is the auxiliary equation? f of d is equal to f of m is equal to this equation. Okay. Anyway, it is a uh, uh, quadratic equation and last number is 13. So, this number 13, last number is 13, do not have the multi multiples which can give the uh, sim uh, on simplification the middle term that is minus of 4, it will not give. Then what you have to do? That is m is equal to minus b, m is equal to minus b plus minus root of it is b square minus 4 a c and over it is 2 a. Therefore, minus b that should be plus 4 uh, this much because one more minus is there and plus or minus root of this is b square that is 4 square minus 4 a c 4 into 1 into 13. Right? So, this is divided by 2 into 1. Then m is equal to 4 plus or minus root of that is 42 minus no what it is 4 square, 4 square means it is 16 minus uh, 52. This divided by it is 2 that is 4 by 2 plus minus root of right 16 minus 30 that is 36 with minus sign divided by 2 that is 2 plus or minus 6 i that means 6 by 2 means 3 i. This quadratic equation, this quadratic equation gives imaginary roots. If you want, you can write imaginary roots. Imaginary roots. Therefore, we have y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x cos of 3x plus c2 e to the power 2x into sin of 3x. This is the general solution. General solution means which is with the presence of arbitrary constants c1 and c2. So, now we shall use this uh, set of initial conditions at uh, x is 0 equal to 2 uh, for the first one and second one is differential. Okay. x dash 0 is equal to 2 this is equation number 1 and uh, dy by uh, sorry this is I am sorry this is x because your x is dependent variable and this is t this is also t this is also t this is also t. <coughs> then uh, x at t that means this implies t is equal to 0 it is nothing but you can write like uh, how you can write t equal to 0, x equal to 2, x dash is equal to uh, 2. This t will be connected with this and this t will be connected with this. Like that you can create two sets of uh, initial conditions uh, with the independent variable same for the first uh, dependent variable value is 2 and second dependent variable x dash is equal to uh, in the form of derivative that is equal to 2. Therefore, here the first uh, uh, differentiation dx by dt because you have to apply that is x dash. Therefore, dx by dt is equal to 2 times 2 times c1 2 times c1 e to the power 2t right and cos 3t this is the first term and this is a product okay, and minus of it should be 3 times c1 e to the power 2t sin of it is 3t and um, plus of it is plus of 2 times c2 e to the power 2t uh, sin 3t as it is then plus of 3 times c2 e to the power 2t and then cos of 
3 t. Now, you substitute uh, initial conditions one by one. What are those initial conditions? First one is x 0 equal to 2 at t is equal to 0, x equal to 2. Right. So, this is the set of initial conditions to be used. What is that? x equal to 2 means I will take in the left side as 2 and t is equal to 0 that is e to the power 0 is 1 and cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 that becomes plus 0. This clearly indicates c 1 is equal to 2 because two constants uh, will not be present in this equation because of the multiplication where sin function sin function on the substitution of x equal, uh, t equal to 0, this sin 0 is 0. Therefore, c 1 is equal to 2. Now, from this we have to take at x uh, t is equal to 0 and x dash is equal to that is 2. What is this? At t is equal to 0 uh, right side. So, wherever sin function is there that becomes 0 left side that is 2 is equal to 2 into c 1 right 2 into c 1 cos 0 is 1 right and this is 0 because sin function this is also sin function this becomes 0 plus of 3 times c 2 and e to the power 0 is 1 and cos 0 is 1. Therefore, uh, 2 is equal to 2 times c 1 plus 3 times it is c 2. Already you have obtained c 1 is equal to 2, you substitute there 2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 3 into c 2. 2 into 2 is 4 you take to the left side that becomes c 2 is equal to uh, 4 with minus that is minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3 is the value of c 2. Therefore, your final solution will be with this equation 1 as x t is equal to substitute substitute uh, c 1 equal to 2 and c 2 is equal to minus of 2 by 3 c 1 that is equal to 2 times uh, e to the power it is 2 t cos of it is 3 t and minus 2 divided by 3. Uh, this must be e to the power uh, 2t, e to the power 2t and sin of it is 3t. So, this is the final solution as what do you call, what do you call that uh, type of solution? It is called particular solution, but earlier this one in the presence of c 1 and c 2 is called a general solution. This is called particular solution after finding the values using the given initial conditions. Now, another uh, variety of the problem I shall write that is a product of two different types of factors. Uh, this is a new variety of the problem. I shall write like this. Example is uh, solve d square plus 1 it is whole square into d minus 1 d minus 1 operating on y is equal to 0 without initial conditions this problem. Uh, this is not given in the expanded form, but this is given in the form of factors. What kind of factors? One is linear factor, another one is quadratic factor that to quadratic means fourth degree you are getting after expanding, but now bracket wise it is second degree, bracket wise this is first degree. Okay. Let uh, auxiliary equation directly you write auxiliary equation b f of d is equal to f of m that is equal to 0. You have written the equation in terms of m, you have written the equation in terms of m as 
m square plus 1 whole square into m minus 1 equal to 0. You have to ignore y. Then this is m square plus 1 whole square means what? m square plus 1 into m square plus 1 into m minus 1 equal to 0. What you have to understand? The importance in this problem is the highest uh, uh, degree of m is 5 because 2, 2 and 1 total the degree, but here highest order derivative if you release this highest order derivative is 5, here highest uh, degree is uh, 5 okay, in terms of auxiliary equation. right? So, what, what best you can do now? Now, you have to calculate uh, factors. Uh, from each factor the values of m. This implies m square is equal to minus 1, this implies m square is equal to minus 1, this implies m is equal to plus 1. Okay. So, from this factor this is the answer, from this factor this is the answer, from this factor this is the answer. This is called linear factor this is called quadratic factor, this is also called quadratic factor, but this gives imaginary values, this gives imaginary values, this gives real value. It is a combination of uh, real root and uh, two sets of imaginary roots. This implies m is equal to plus or minus root of minus 1. Here also m is equal to plus or minus root of minus 1. Here m is equal to 1. Then uh, this is nothing but m is equal to 0 plus or minus i uh, into root 1 that is uh, root of 1 is 1, but minus sign as it is uh, with in terms of imaginary number. Then m is equal to 0 plus or minus i and m is equal to 1. So, total number of roots that is m takes the value that is 0 plus i comma 0 minus i 0 plus i comma 0 minus i and that is 1. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 totally 5 roots are there. The solution you have to write uh, this must be y is equal to in terms of x you can write that is c 1 e to the power 0 into x, it is cos x and c 2 e to the power 0 into x into sin x okay. and uh, plus of c 2 uh, sorry c 3 because c 2 we have used and x into e to the power 0 x uh, cos of e x and plus c 4 x because the roots are repeated once, then c 4 x into e to the power 0 into x into sin x and plus of c 5 e to the power that is m equal to 1 that is e to the power x. Finally, the last step is the solution e to the power 0 is 1 and this e to the power 0 is 1 and this e to the power 0 is 1 and this e to the power 0 is 1. Therefore, you have c 1 uh, cos x plus of uh, c 3 uh, that is also uh, sorry uh, this sine function means uh, um, here cos x c 1 cos x and c 2 sin x. Okay. C 2 sin x exponential to the power 0 into x is 1 and plus of c 3 x into cos x plus c 4 x into sin x right plus c phi e to the power x and one more last simplification you can write for this step that comes to be c 1 plus c 3 x multiplied by that means common uh, factor I am taking as cos x. Similarly, common factor as sin function I am taking c 2 plus c 4 x multiplied by it is sin x and plus c phi that is e to the power x. So, this becomes the final solution, this becomes the final solution 
uh, in some standard form we can write in some standard form uh, by the inclusion of totally phi constants because highest uh, order derivative is phi and highest degree of this auxiliary equation is phi. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 constants must be present in the final solution. This is what uh, this is what the solution procedure for homogeneous differential equations. Uh, uh, I would like to stop up to here, then in my next lecture I will continue non-homogeneous differential equations by writing one or two examples in homogeneous for your practice. <coughs> I shall give the hints for this, then I shall move on to the non-homogeneous equations. Thank you.